Oh, hello. It's the gibbering GM here, giving you a slightly different feel to the video today. Um, yeah, I wanted to talk to you about something that I feel that players do that they might actually be wasting their time doing. What is it? Well, stay tuned. Welcome back. And yeah, so most characters, most players really enjoy making their character. And I think character generation is so important in any fantasy role playing game. However, there is something that players do that I think is a complete and utter waste of time. Now, do remember if you have um, enjoyed this video or want to see more then please consider liking commenting and subscribing to the channel not only does it promote this channel but it takes me one step closer to my dream so what what's this thing that you know players do that as a gm i really do not like well i'm happy about it but i just think they're wasting their time what is it well making really detailed character backgrounds. So one of the important things about character generation is that you're creating a new character to be brought into an existing campaign or world. And it's really interesting that when you actually look at that, what information, what specialized knowledge does that character bring in? And to me, what I really like is the idea that the character is new to the campaign or has very restricted knowledge. So in my own Odess campaign, um, the characters actually travel to the continent of Odess from somewhere else in the world. So when they actually started to arrive, they knew little, if anything, about the general workings. And this is because I don't want players to create backgrounds that give them somewhat of an advantage. And most players, most RPGers are dead against this, but some players do and they want to sort of like, almost like say, well, I will know what that is because in my background, I met them X amount of years ago. And I want everything to be new to the um, characters and to the players. And the reason I want that is because I want their input to the campaign world. I want the campaign world to adapt and evolve along with their actions. And I feel that sometimes the adventure is just the beginning, and yet character players have created backgrounds that their characters are almost like at an end or midway through their life. Sometimes it's important that characters have motivation or traits that they wish to follow, and that's absolutely fine. But when they enter a campaign world, I want the slate to be clean. I want them to start to create their own understanding of the world and generate their own purpose, their, uh, <clears throat> their own targets, their own sort of like motivations towards the end. And I feel sometimes that with a background, players engage too much with that. And it's almost like they come ready made to the campaign. And I want them to actually formulate their aims and objectives along with the campaign so I can mold the campaign along with them. And I think this is something that is very important for a campaign to actually progress with. So if I'm not really, well, if I think, say that making up detailed um, backgrounds is a waste of time, what should a player do? What should a player create? And for me, it's almost like what the other players see, how they're going to interact with that player, how they're actually, you know, that character, what does that character look like? What are their, their mannerisms? And from this, a character can really 
evolve. It can really get that depth of character. And sometimes all I want players to think about is what the character looks like, how others might perceive them, and maybe one or two ideas about where they would like to take their character and to share them not necessarily with the other players but with me as the GM so I know where I'm taking them. It's a bit like when players meet an NPC they know nothing about that NPC and I just role play that interaction and as I role play that interaction and players role play back it allows me to, to alter and mould the NPC to the campaign and to the players. The classic example of this is um, Sylvester McCoon, who is a cartographer in the city of Lindo. And I really had no fixed idea about what he was going to be like as a NPC. But the, the interactions with the players really made him come across almost as a person who looks down at everybody else, who really doesn't care about um, rules or regulations, has his own agenda and will manipulate the party in order to get his own way. And that character was never written down like that to start off with just by playing him did the character evolve. I often think with a lot of RPGs, there are certain race interactions that are, are not positive or certain people don't like other certain groups of people. And what I would hope that would happen is that I wouldn't discourage people not to play those opposing forces. I would encourage them to play them in a sense that what I want them to do is actually develop that relationship and actually engage with that opposing view and maybe you know one saves the other person's life or something like that that causes a change or one actually causes the other one injury which causes a change and that I think is the most important thing and that building a story so yeah, the next time you're making a player, a character as a player or even an NPC, try not to build too much into it. Try to leave it, try to create just the bare skeletons because from that can actually evolve a much more, a character with more depth and a more connection to the, the campaign. As ever, I hope you've enjoyed these this recent gibbering and please come back to hear more. Until then, I'm off back to my book. So I'll see you all later. See ya. Bye.